Hello, and welcome to Ginger Center for Kids Who Can't Fly Good, and want to learn to do other stuff good, too. Today, I'll be talking about flying low. Let the tips begin! 1. Fly in first person. While third person helps you get your bearings, there aren't really any bearings to get when two-thirds of your screen are going to be occupied by ground. First person feels more natural when maneuvering between tight spaces, so it's a good choice when flying low. Third person is obviously still good for flying high, though. 2. Use your ascend and descend keys regularly. If you've flown enough that you have your mouse control along with your yaw and down into muscle memory, you should be adding space and control to your repertoire. The reason being that unlike any other control you have over your ESF, they physically and immediately move your ESF up or down rather than just adjusting where you're facing. A mastery of ascend and descend the, bleh, a mastery of ascend and descend can allow you to adjust the physical position of your ESF just right so that you can fit perfectly through otherwise suicidal gaps. 3. Watch your health. If you're flying low in hopes of escaping an area, chances are you have low HP and too much damage will set you ablaze. Being on fire in an ESF dramatically increases the force of gravity on you. Uh, so if your HP sirens are blaring, keep your thumb hovering over that spacebar and be ready to pull up from otherwise certain death. 4. Keep your ears open. While keeping underneath trees can make it harder for ESFs to detect you, you're still vulnerable to getting dive-bombed if you do get seen. If you know the reverse maneuver, keep potential gaps and mountains nearby that you can use to enter hover mode safely in case you need to defend yourself. If you get spotted by an ESF, do not continue to fly low. Once the person is on your tail, your precise alignments that let you make it underneath the next tree won't be able to throw off your enemy's lead, and your pursuer, who's probably keeping a good 50 meters above you, probably isn't going to lose you. Either pull up and use all of your afterburner to get to a well-defended area, or find a place to make your stand and burst there instead. Again, an Amorish Spire or Esamir Crystal is a good object to reverse around. There's a little mistake that could kill me. No big deal. Part 2. Knowing when and when not to fly low. So it's better, uh, it's always better to fly high than low, because you'll be above all of the action and undetectable by enemy ESFs, and unless you're in southwest Indar, Flak may not be able to see you or even render you depending on how high up you are. Flying low is nice, but you're going to take bits and pieces of fire flying over large fights that keep your nanites down. In addition, if you start a fight while low to the ground, any surrounding peasants will know where you are, either be able to hear you or see you on radar, and start whipping out their strikers. Thus, flying low is usually done when flying high isn't an option, either because there are enemy ESFs that will notice you bursting upward, or your health is too low to sustain any fire on the way up. In either case, flying low is sort of a last-ditch effort. It's usually done to escape a hot area and safely get back behind friendly lines, either avoiding the flat turret that just noticed you, or the Nux squad that just flew into the area. Alright, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and whether you want to see more flight-related content or just want to be serenaded by my magnificent voice, you can click on my username below to check out my channel. Bye!